14th Sunday in ordinary time year A. Come and rest. Our modern society has been plagued by stress and depression. Stress is the cause and depression is the condition or consequence. Stress lasts for a few days, but depression can last for a long time. Stress happens when there are tensions, pressures, threats or demands that you feel you are unable to cope with. These tensions, pressures, threats or demands can come from outside you or from within you. When we are stressed, we obviously feel anxious, uneasy, fearful, tense or panicky or just thinking about an unpleasant situation, about people or about events. Too much stress therefore can cause damage and dysfunction to our body, to our mind and to our spirit. There are so many things to get done each day, at work, in school, taking care of the family, running errands, cleaning the house, just to name a few. In effect, most of our schedules are busy. While being busy and productive is good, we need to also remember how important and even biblical it is to rest. St. Augustine tells us that our soul can find no rest until it rests in Christ. Our ultimate rest as Christians is found obviously in Christ. Christ therefore in our gospel today is inviting all those who labor, all those who are overburdened to come to him and to cast our, our cares on him. He meant that we should take our burdens to him. We should offer them to him. We should talk to him and ask him for a solution. In our gospel, therefore, there is an imperative from Jesus, come. Surprisingly, it is not only an offer, but it is more of an order. Jesus does not want us to hesitate on that. He needs us with our hearts, with our minds, with our souls, and with our strengths. It is only in Jesus that we can find our complete rest from the cares of this world, from the sorrows that plague us, and from the need to work to make ourselves acceptable to Him. In Jesus, we find complete rest from the labors of our efforts, of our self-efforts, because He alone is holy. He alone is righteous. Jesus gives us an offer so that we can be refreshed. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 18. Are you tired? Are you wearied? Are you stressed? Are you depressed? Jesus Christ is giving us an order to come to him. He is equally giving us an offer to have rest for our soul. Let us not miss this opportunity. Oh, that today you will listen to his voice, harden not your heart. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.